Hi Sagittarius, it's L here to do your weekly reading. This will go from September 1st through the 7th, 2019. Thank you for tuning in. Before we start, go ahead, click that like button. Thank you, thank you. It means a lot. Helps the video circulate. If you cannot do um, what takes money, purchase readings, do what's free. Go ahead, click the like, share, comment, uh, subscribe to the channel, okay? Uh, let's get into it. Sad. So sad. Your energy is kind of grounded, but kind of airy, too. Or kind of flighty. Like, you're ready to take flight. Ready to make changes on something. Uh, I'm hearing only to resurface or return. Okay, so how does Sag come into the week? Outside influence in the environment. What's helping Sag? And the outcome for the week for Sagittarius. Okay. All right, so Sagittarius comes in a week. Ooh, it's the tower, didn't I say? Ready to shake things up. Or, or things have been shaken up. Um, destruction. Something being destroyed, um, an upheaval, rattled, uh, stirring, something unforeseen, unfortunate. How you deal with this is going to have historical measure. Because the tower comes in to shake things up. So they want you to look at the history of this situation, right? And possibly do the opposite. Don't do the same thing because then they'll have to come in. The universe will have to come in and be the tower all over again for you. This is about the universe giving you an out. Something getting found out. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. The outside energy is the Eight of Wands. Yeah, there's like communicate. So maybe something gets found out, found out in the way of communicating, not face to face. Something there's talk about trouble and or jealousy in a particular situation, relationship. There's talks about uh, big money, um, mystery surrounding money. Uh, the other person's money, sex, intimacy, what somebody's doing in, in those two arenas. This could be you. This could be something getting found out in regards to sex and intimacy. Money, money going this way, money going that way. Uh, loans, investments. What's helping? Nice. What's helping Sagittarius and Ten of Pentacles? You being grounded. Didn't I say that at the beginning? I said, like, you, you're grounded, but at the same time, still ready to take some action if you need to. So the Sag is grounded. The Sag may, this could be masculine energy. Could be talking about a male Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. Could be a female. So the Sag is grounded monetarily. And maybe there is talks about your money, just mystery surrounding money, uh, big money, institutions, something of that nature. Uh, the Sag, what's helping you is you already being, having done the work, you're, the work over a course of period, a course, um, a period of time. You have built yourself up. So even with this unexpected shift or change to your foundation, you're still good. Your father could be around. Your father could have money. The man that you're with could have money. If you're a female Sag, or you could just have money, Sagittarius. Um... There's some recognition. You, you've already fulfilled long-term goals here. And that is what's keeping you 
that's what's helping you or somebody is helping you okay the outcome is the page of swords so you're going to be doing your own research you're going to get more proactive energetic about uh this here somebody inquiring or you inquiring about someone else something unexpected and now it's bringing you to an inquisitive state maybe even gossip surrounding you or you doing the gossip let's get some clarifying cards on on this it says that um be eager to learn to do the work to to gain knowledge you may become a student again um that very proactive inquisitive student of i don't know or you just may be gaining some information someone could be spying on you or vice versa what is the tower okay the three of wands yeah it could be that so this talks about expansion it talks about communication once again we have communication with the eight of wands so unexpected communication unexpected foreseen communication movement did somebody leave something behind or leave someone behind and now somebody's talking about it give me one more card okay yep nine of wands there's a, a separation someone is doing what's best for them this could be the sagittarius doing what's best for for you six of wands making a choice analyzing the data and saying you know what i have to leave maybe a partnership behind and do what's best for me i need to operate in singlehood um I'm, i need to learn more about what it is i really want where i really want to be um six of wands yeah okay what's the eight of wands in the environment two cards for me Eight of Pentacles and a ten. Of, this is definitely about money, and you have the Strength card at the bottom of this deck. So at this point, you have one, two, three eights. So it's definitely about how you, excuse me, how you earn your money. Someone is inquiring. Someone is talking about money. How you, how you have earn your money? What you do at your home for money? You work at home. Uh what you someone is talking about what you do someone is definitely talking about what it is you do It talk, they're talking about your money. They're talking about how you earn your money. They're talking about what it is you do. They're talking about something about neighbors. Neighbors are talking. Ten of Pentacles, what's got you grounded? You and you having a plan of action. So that if change comes... Or if um, something around money in a partnership, if it ends, you 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 you're gonna get what it is you deserve here. Somebody's talking about your money, or you're talking about somebody else's money and how they earn money. There's an air of mystery here. Somebody could be doing something underhanded in regards to earning money and earn income and you, you're trying to report on that uh the sag has a, a plan of action in regards to their own stability in regards to some masculine energy in regards to getting what they feel like they just des they deserve or desire in regards to some relationship the sag has a, a plan Page of Swords in the 
end of the week. Yeah, three of swords. Sag could be doing work in regards to this divorce or and or separation. Maybe due to infidelity. Somebody's trying to gain knowledge of uh, doing the, the leg work. Uh, speaking about maybe an air sign. Uh, someone that you're divided about. Communicating about a division. About infidelity. And then the eight of, eight of wands again. Definitely communicating about division. Division of assets. Division of... These are big, you know, big money, investments, inheritance, assets, loans. So, Queen of Cups, you could be the mother of your children. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Once again, stay, stay true to your convictions. Um, it's sad if you said you're going to do this or do that then do it because if you stay true to your convictions it can land you where it is you feel you need to be don't waver don't don't be pushed or nudged into uh stand strong that inner strength see you need that inner strength because there's outside forces there's somebody talking about you speaking about you they're talking about what it is you do if you do something underhanded if you do something that is not altogether upright or legal. You need to tighten up or you need to know that people are having conversation about it. Maybe in the neighborhood, maybe with people around you. Uh, people are talking about it. Maybe a young person. Uh, people are talking. People are talking. Um, there could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who talks about what it is you do or don't do. Uh, they could be talking about your money or inquiring about your money or wondering where it's going and what you're doing and what the plans are. Motivation sits on page of swords, three of swords and the eight of wands. What is your motivation or what is this other person's motivation? Uh, what's helping you? Let's see. The health care change. You, you could be... Realizing that you need to change some aspect about your own health. Ten of Pentacles is about good health and maybe maintaining it. You need to make a plan of action to do better. You can't just do a little. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's something resurfacing or surfacing in your health. Maybe in regards to fatigue. Um, it can even, yeah, fatigue. Somebody's tired a lot. Okay. Uh, outside energy, the environment, retirement. This person wants to know about. See, the retirement also talks about change of uh, source of income. This person wants to know what it is you're doing. What? How don't you do anything? But you have income, or you, you've moved from one position to another. Uh, what is the retirement plan like? Uh, what monies do you have saved is what I'm hearing. This person could be going after your saved assets, your money for you. Okay, how the Sag is coming into the week. Or you could be doing that Sag. I don't know. Uh, Sag, watch your money. There, there are people talking. Parental care. So, um, you could be a parent. There's some unexpected information, event that happens. Do you have had enough? You may say, you may be wanting to put this, this relationship, this situation to bed, put it to rest. You may make some choice. Somebody may be asking for forgiveness. A parent, your own parent or your children are asking for forgiveness. They want attention. Or you may be you may be asking for forgiveness for your child for lack of attention. 
Yeah. All right, Sad, if you feel like this resonates with you for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Make sure you use the coupon code below. 10 off 35 gets you $10 off any reading, $35 or more. Looks like a very interesting week. Protect your assets. Do know that people are talking or you're talking about someone else's assets. Uh, thank you, Sag. Take care. Bye.